Let's go ahead and take a look at AVG Internet Security 2019. You can download a free trial if you go to avg.com. Hover over here on PC and then click on AVG Internet Security and then you click here on free trial download on this green button and you'll be able to download the free trial which we're using right now. Now the purpose of this program here, this software, is to protect you on the internet on multiple areas because if you don't have anything like this then you're open to a lot of stuff let's go ahead and take a look at the let's look through each one of these to see what it protects so first the computer is protected with a file shield which scans any file added to the pc as it's being opened which is pretty cool guys as you're opening files avg will check them out behavior shield which warns you if any application behaves maliciously so it's it's constantly checking to see if any uh, program on your computer is doing some funny stuff. So it's good to have these on all the time. The next one is web and email. With web and email, it's got a web shield which blocks web attacks and unsafe downloads. So if you're downloading something unsafe, it'll prompt you and it'll, it'll warn you. There's also an email shield which blocks unsafe email attachments. So when you're going to open up an attachment from one of your um, emails, it'll check it and it'll let you know if it's malicious. Another is a hacker attacks. So it's got a firewall built in, which is pretty cool with internet security. It's like an all-in-one type of deal. It's got an enhanced firewall, which keeps hackers off your PC, which is good. And you could change those options here. You could check network connections, network profiles, application rules, and certain applications that you want to block out or something. You could do it through here. Now it's got this ransomware protection, which is very, very, very important, guys. Very important because a lot of ransomware viruses have been happening. That's when you get a virus that actually hijacks all your important information. All that stuff is in documents, pictures, all this stuff here. What this does is it protects it. Now if you have a folder that's very important to you, you can click Odd Folder here. And you can add that folder and it'll protect it. What, what it does is it protects it from being... Um, locked and not able to use it because you can actually lock files there's a certain program to do that where you lock your files and only you can access them with a password now what this virus does it uses that type of technology but against you and then it sends you a ransom and says hey pay us this much and we'll open your files you know and and sometimes people pay them and it doesn't happen, so then they pay them multiple times. I've seen so many times that happen where people just spend a lot of money trying to get their... Because they're important files. I mean, dang. So they will pay them, but they don't even... Sometimes it, I've seen it work only once, but most of the time it don't work. So this will protect you against the ransomware stuff. When a virus starts to do that to your files, it'll stop it on its tracks and not let it do it. So that's good. That's good. Very, very important. That's what I like about this program, that it has that. Let's take a look at the privacy section. It's got webcam protection. So that's pretty cool. It actually turns off your webcam while you're not using it. You know, it doesn't let it turn on if some other program tries to use it without your, your permission, which is pretty cool. I like that. I really like that. We really need that nowadays because it's weird. You never know when your webcam is probably recording you or something. You know, it's, it's kind of weird. Sensitive data shield. So prevents snooping into sensitive documents. You can uh, do a scan to look at all the sensitive documents. And I'm not going to scan because I don't want my sensitive documents to pop up, right, for privacy issues. But when you hit scan, it'll find all the sensitive data, and then you can go ahead and um, and protect it. So as you guys can see, it's got a little bit of everything in here. Let's go back. Let's go to payments protection. Um, so it's got a fake website shield. So sometimes... I don't know if it happened to you guys. You get a message on Facebook and it says, hey, check this out. This is really cool. And then when you, cl when you click on it, all of a sudden it, it takes you to a, to a login page. Supposedly you got to re-log into Facebook. It says that you got logged out or whatnot. But in reality, it's not a Facebook website. It's actually a fake website where they're going to get your information, which then they log into your Facebook account with because you just gave them your login. And then they go and send that same message to everyone else. And they just spread it like crazy. It's crazy. It's pretty crazy. It's also got anti-spam on here. I don't have it installed right now. But you can go ahead and install that. And it will stop the spam on your email. Which takes some setting up to do. Because you got to connect it to your email account. Whatever email you're using. 
So that is it for the protection part. Now it has a built in scanner. If you click on scan computer, it'll do the basic scan right off the bat. But if you click on this little sprocket here, you can go ahead and choose a regular computer scan or a certain folder or file, a deep scan, which will run longer, but it'll look in every nick and cranny in your computer and your hard drive to see if it'll find something. Keep in mind that'll take a long, long time, but it's, but it's worth it if you have a very infected computer, you can use that. It's got a performance scanner as well. Let's go ahead and open that to take a look at it. So man, it's even got a performance scanner. So it's got a lot of stuff built in, which is pretty cool. I like this thing. It scans for broken registry, system junk. All right, it finished scanning. As you can tell here, it's got 10 gigs of system junk. Dang. Broken registry items, 1,800 of them. And program slowing down your PC, 25 of them. I want to know what those are. Oh, that dang HP support assistant. Microsoft Office. I don't even use these guys in the top. HP support solutions. Jesus. So let's do something about that, man. Because that is a lot of programs. So we're going to close this real quick. Uh... Oh, shoot. Look what it's doing. Oh, 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 oh. Install AVG Tune-Up to fix these problems for free. So we are we are going to make a video on AVG Tune-Up, but not in this video. So we're going to have to install AVG Tune-Up to be able to do this. I was hoping it was built in, but it's not. You got to download another AVG program, and that's AVG Tune-Up. All right. Let's go back. Yeah, ignore and exit. It's fine. All right. So it looks like that's about it. Um, it's got the boot time scan, which scans for threats before Windows starts up. There's sometimes there's some viruses that'll mess with your computer so bad that you need to do this, the boot time scan. And it looks like it needs to be installed, actually. Um, it's got to be installed, as I could tell here. So when you click on it or it install it, and basically what it's gonna, what that does is, is it'll, it'll scan your computer when it first boots up before anything gets up gets a chance to even come up because there's some viruses that will come up and won't even let you do nothing so that's good so i gotta give avg internet security a good thumbs up because of this boot time scan because of the malware malware um protection the i mean the ransomware protection and uh, a couple of other things that it has here too i really like it so i'm going to give internet security uh, 4.5 star rating. I would give it five if we were able to use that um, that tune-up utility built in. That would be nice, but since it doesn't have it, I'll just give it a 4.5 4.5 rating. It looks like they have it failed. They ran into a problem. I wonder why. Oh man! Right after I give you 4.5 rating, all of a sudden that doesn't work. Come on! Are you kidding me? Let's go back to it. Boot time scan for some reason did not want to install. All right, so I, I retract that last rating. I want to give it four stars since the boot time scan didn't want to work. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in another AVG tutorial video.